take a deep breath in. As you breathe in, breathe in a resourceful feeling of relaxation. And as you exhale, that's it. Close those eyes. And as they close, release a feeling of tension. Feel it leaving your body in your outward breath. And that's it. Breathing in a feeling of resourcefulness. Exhaling tension. So breath by breath, you're able to feel deeper and deeper relaxed. I want you to scan your face for any clues of tension. Look at the temple and the eyebrows, jaw, or even just the rate of your breathing. So as you breathe in and breathe out, you're able to let go. Because you've been holding on to a lot. What ifs? Should I, shouldn't I? Replaying moments from time. And all of that is just the past. You are where you are. Wiser. With new perspective. New evaluations. At a place. Where you're already. Towards the light at the end of that tunnel as you breathe in and breathe out just release that tension in your neck allow your arms to feel heavier that's it, sink into that feeling of deep relaxation and I want you to use the power of your imagination to imagine you are in tropical nature and I want you to imagine seeing the magnificent praying mantis see the bright colour of green the intense eyes And the praying mantis is one of the most capable creatures of its size. Formidable, dominant, strong and powerful. But most people don't realise that most praying mantis fall victim to a parasite. Starts off small, harmless but grows inside the praying mantis, draining it of its energy. Until the praying mantis becomes a shell of its once formidable self. But interestingly, if a praying mantis is put into a jar of water, And it looks like the praying mantis is about to drown. Then at the point where the mantis looks like it's broken and dead, hollowed out, that parasitic worm starts to leave the mantis. It wriggles and squirms away. And the mantis thinks that everything is lost that they are at their lowest not realising that this is what's necessary to be free of the parasite because once the worm leaves the host it doesn't return and the mantis can return can regain that lost energy become formidable, dominant, the apex predator of its type once again. That what was thought to be a moment of pain and trauma and distress was actually a fresh start 
a new chapter. It was actually escaping a biological shackle. That the pain was needed to return to be full, to be powerful, to be strong. I want you to imagine that praying mantis, now free of its parasite, see it again becoming strong, formidable, dominant. I want you to get a sense that sometimes one door needs to close before a new door can open. It's not possible to be free while also shackled. Sometimes the chains have to be left behind in order to venture to new terrains. Perhaps many years ago you were first told the story of the phoenix. There were just ashes, debris, but the phoenix needed the ashes to rise again and I want you to tap into your resilience, your strength your ability to overcome adversity to create a window of opportunity to a new empowered life life is a journey and sometimes venturing into one place is necessary to get to the place you were meant to find. I want you to imagine that this is a chapter in your life of darkness. But in the same way that dawn follows darkness that spring follows winter that the next chapter offers hope, optimism and light I want you to unlock feelings of optimism that perhaps in a few years time As challenging as this period in your life is, there will be a time when you will look back with eyes of gratitude, grateful for this moment, because it led you to somewhere where you were meant to be. But what's important on this journey is that you give yourself the love, the attention, the encouragement and the support that perhaps was lacking in the past. Your duty is to you and the people you love the most. But you can't pour from an empty cup. You can't give love if you have no love to give. So your number one priority is you to recharge those batteries to feel that feeling of hollowness with a feeling of strength, inner strength, inner love, self-belief. Right now, the way out of the darkness is to prioritize your own happiness, to see your own self-worth, to recharge your own emotional well-being and to realize that all of this is necessary to take you to the place you're meant to go. Look again at that mantis. 
Imagine the mantis weeks after the parasite has left. Strong again. Powerful again. Dominant again. That the near death and drowning was exactly what the mantis needed to be free. Take a deep breath in through your nose. A hand out through your nose. Wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes. Feel like you're returning to the present with a new outlook, a new priority, a new way of thinking that enables you to get through a difficult time that will lead you to somewhere better. As I count from one to ten to awaken you, starting to count one, two, three, waking up, four, five, six, more alert, seven, eight, Open your eyes, open your eyes. Nine, ten, wide awake, wide awake, wide awake. 